So just the day after <clears throat> doing that off-roading trip in uh, up in the Windmill Loop and Banks Canyon area, um, I, last week, bought myself a new toy. So I'm taking it out for the first time and it's not gonna be anything exciting. Um, I, I, this is my first time ever doing this. Uh, so I'm gonna be taking it easy and kind of figuring out what the terrain is like, but uh, this will be fun. I'm gonna record a little bit of what I'm doing and make myself a short little video out of it. Hope you enjoy. I started recording right after I fell. So, not that this is a difficult trail at all. I mean, it's difficult for me. It's my first time ever on a mountain bike trail. So this is pretty difficult. But uh, I hit a rock sideways and awkwardly and I was sitting on my butt and didn't know what to do. Freaking tipped over very slowly and dramatically. I wish there was some experienced riders to watch. Oh jeez, those rear brakes lock up quick. I'm used to the V-style brakes on bikes. This is my first time with a bike that has hydraulic disc brakes. So I'm used to having to squeeze it quite a bit more. Hundred and forty six minutes later. All right, zip out is marked as a green trail. Should be easy, like a for a loser like me. Nice. So we'll hit this one. I just did a primer trail, which I guess is just a little warm up following on the warm-up is. Well, whatever. All right. It's downhill, but that's kind of what concerns me because that means I have to come back uphill to get back to the parking lot. That's a steep turn. Oh. So I'm on zip out. If I keep going that way, it's unzip, which is a different trail. My phone's being dumb and it won't stay on. So I don't know what the difficulty rating of that trail is. 
So I'm gonna go on this one because I know it's a green trail and everything behind me is green as well. And I feel like I've, uh, I'm swimming a little bit over my head here. So we'll go this way. Hey, buddy. Ah. Rocks. Uh, here we go. Yeah. This trail's narrow. You know, I'm used to Jeeps. Those trails are much more forgiving. Cool. Not so much cool. This is kind of terrifying. Oh, jeez. I don't know momentum there. So if the camera can hear me. The bike I have is a specialized fuse. It's a 29 inch, extra large. Imagine that. It's got a dropper post on it. If you don't know what a dropper post is, it allows you to adjust the height of the seat on the fly. There we go. And it's nice because when you're going down those downhill sections, you can just drop that seat all the way down so it's not in your way. And then you got to pedal hard. You can bring it back up. Doing this prime trial again. This is a good trail to start with. Probably won't record it again though. But this is also kind of an experiment with my camera. Let's see if this mount on the helmet is gonna do what I want it to do. Man. Oh, what's up with my hand? It keeps going completely numb. I can't feel it at all. It makes it very difficult to shift gears and use the brake. I got for you. So I don't know if any of that'll be super great footage <clears throat> and I know it probably won't look very intense and it wasn't very intense but that was my first time ever riding a mountain bike and riding on a mountain bike trail. So it's pretty exciting for me but uh, we'll keep coming out and getting better at it. I want to try some endurance stuff too, but if you couldn't tell from all the panting and breathing, probably not ready for the endurance stuff quite yet, but we'll get there too. So thanks for watching. <laughs>